Hi, I'm Adrian Kennard, and yesterday I showed you how to upgrade your Marsden M135 scales to be Wi-Fi connected. Basically, we used one of these. It's an ESP01, it's a small microcontroller, and uh, we connected it with some wires to the scales, and every time you press the send button, it sends your weight over MQTT. It's amazing what you can do for under three pounds, but we can do better. With this, the send button just sends the weight. Now that's fine if you've got one person using the scales, or possibly two with very different weights. You can work out who's who. But if you've got a wife and four daughters and a son and, and sister-in-law and anyone else who wants to use the scales, it's a little bit more complicated. So I have a slightly more sophisticated upgrade. To start with, the scales here, I've run the cable through the battery compartment just so it's a little easier. And I said last time not to connect the, the, third, the fourth wire there, the, the brown one, that connects to the send button. And the reason is we actually need to fit a diode. So I fitted a small diode so that this can pull down the send button. Without it, the processor won't actually start. And this time we're going to connect something slightly different. We have here uh, a MyFair RFID RC522 standard reader board. And we have an ESP12. Now it's very, it's the same basic processor as the ESP01, but it's got a nice little CAN, FCC and C marking, and uh, it's about the same size, but uh, it has more memory in it, which doesn't really matter in this case. And I've made a rather interesting job of wiring it up to a four pin connector. The button's just for reflashing it. You don't actually need that if you flash it first. But, um, so that's all wired up and we connect it to the scales. Actually, we'll do it while it's turned off. It's probably a little bit safer. Now, that's quite a big setup. I will now carefully put it away in the battery compartment. Turn it back on. So what's the idea of the card reader? Well, instead of just pressing the send button, we can do something a little bit smarter. What I have is a MyFair RFID card. So I stand on the scales, I look at the weight and cringe. Not as low as I was this morning, but then I have had a bottle of water. Now I can wait for the weight to go stable or not. It's actually quite smart. If I put the card on, you may have just heard a beep. Let's, I can do that again if you like. The beep is because the card's been read and it's pressed the send button. Um, it's actually quite clever. If I just stand on the scales, put the card on, and wait for it to settle, it'll actually send the settle reading. Similarly, if I stand on, wait for it to settle, and then put the card on, uh, it'll actually just set. So it's smart enough to send the, the, the stable reading, even if it's just before or after you use the card. But that sent it to the database, and I can show you the MQTT for that. So there you go, I've got um, some actual readings on the screen. I'll stand on it again, beep, and up come the reading, and I can do it again. So we have that, that's the MQTT trace. We actually have that going straight into an SQL database. So now you have scales where I can give everybody their own card or key fob, and they can stand on the scales, tap it, it beeps, and the weight goes into a database. This is great, we, could, uh, we can actually collect all the data for everybody who uses our scales and uh, plot nice little graphs and so on. Um, James is thinking of taking it to a Slimming World meeting, which is great. The only catch is as soon as we start collecting some data that's slightly more than just personal use, we have to do all the GDPR stuff. So we're gonna probably have to mess about if we're gonna set this up on a website. But it's a nice proof of concept and uh, the software is all on GitHub if you want to have a play with it.